Okay, welcome to another video. It's been a while since I've uploaded anything, as I've been busy playing games offline, taking a break from streaming, and I've been recently been back to No Man's Sky. It's a game I played in 2016, bit of a letdown. Went back to it in 2018, a lot better, but then I got bored. Now I'm back to it in 2020. There's a lot of new additions that's come in the last year or so, one of them being something called Bite Beat, a feature which players can basically create their own music within the game, uh, sync that with lights, do what you want of it, have a bit of fun. Um, it's not too complex, complex enough to have a bit of fun with um, and keep you busy for hours. However, I created a little song, nothing amazing, um, using this synthesizer and eight tracks, and then created a bass to go with the song. So, this video is the first time I've ever done this sort of thing, is I'm going to give a kind of bass tour, uh, bike bass tour, with the song that I made. So basically this is the song, we're just going to call it, I don't know, Volcanic Bike Bass, that'll do. So, some little volcanic hill in the middle of the ocean. So this is my first ever bike bass. Now let me switch the camera. Enjoy. Now this bass isn't set up for any kind of farming, there's no farms or extractors anywhere, I don't even have refiners in this bass, it literally is a bit of fun, a respite place. Now I'll take you inside, we can have a little look, as you can see the whole thing is synced to the music, it's pretty cool, and originally this whole runway run the length of the landing strip, but I found it was a bit too much. So I shortened it down until when the landing strips begin. And the song only took me an hour or so to make messing around, getting used to it. It's not brilliant. Won't be earning me any money or uh, getting me any new career, that's for sure. Now inside, it's pretty simple. Got the switch for the music. Uh, switches for the lights. Now if I switch two and three on instead of off, they go on to full on mode. So now they stop going to the music. It took me a while to get the wiring set up, but we got there in the end. So now we can just have music with lights always on. We can have lights always on and music off. Ah. Or we can just say, hey, I only want one of the lights on. I only want the white lights on. And then you can just stick to having the white lights on. Mood lighting, whatever you say wish. Either way, switch that off, put that on. This is how the bike bass was designed to look. Just a bit of fun, like I say, go into the music, experiment in. Let's take up a look, uh, look up on the roof. Now you can see there's just lights attached to the back of these glitches, just to give a, a flashing effect from down below. Same with here, just to light up this section. Just so it all goes with the rest of the lighting from the viewpoint down below. But then in here, all you're going to find is seating areas. Nothing but seating areas. Like I say, just a rest bike place. Some will go AFK when I'm going to eat, maybe. Or, uh, you know, everyone goes AFK in their game rather than logging out. This is the perfect AFK spot for me. Now, it's only a warp gate away. Obviously, one of the things I do have in here uh, is a trade terminal. Everyone needs a trade terminal. And obviously, the warp gate opens Sesame. Thank you very much. So I can access my other bases with ease. Now what I do have, uh, and I built this for my son, this little addition. Now like I say, we're on a volcano uh, in the middle of the ocean. That's where the, ba uh, the base is built, so it's quite secluded. However, the bonus of being in the middle of the ocean is the sea life. Now my son is only two, and he has an obsession right now with sea animals. He absolutely loves his sea animals. So I've built a submarine dock. Where's the submarine? It's over there. 
uh, and just like a viewing chamber, basically. So when he wants to see sea animals, uh, and I'm on my game, he can come and see the sea animals. He also likes to see the dinosaurs, because I've got a dinosaur base set up. The Diplo, he likes the Diplos. Diplo loves them. But they're the jelly squids, as we've called them. They look like jellyfish combined with a squid. You got some barracudas down there in the daytime. In fact, I think they're over there right now, maybe. I'm not sure. Oh no, the sun behind us though. There's lots of sea life, more in the day than at night. But it keeps him entertained and it's like a a quiet place of the base. Away from the music. Not that you need to keep the music on, but you know. It's all about design. So this was just a quiet spot. So let's go back up to the base. Away from the sea animals as my son would call them. And you can close. So that's it. Literally, this is the base. Nothing fancy here. Now, obviously, I need the Exocraft radar to be able to summon all my Exocraft if I need them. But this is it. This is the bite base. It took a long time to build. And considering it like just for fun, I think it's alright. I've always enjoyed building in games, whether it's Save the World, Fallout 76, Fallout in general. I do like building bases. And No Man's Sky is something I've always had a pleasure in doing, is building bases. And this whole bite beat system, it just became a little more interesting. Now either way, that is my base. And just quickly I'll show you how it's all run. Underneath the walkway is where I have my synthesizers set up. We have eight of them. That's the maximum you can have. So when you have eight, you can connect eight tracks. And there you are. And then you create your tracks, you create your samples on each piece, put them together, try and come up with a tune. And you can even go ahead and play live on this. So you can... Uh, Mess around with the wave formats, the keys, if you're really good at this sort of thing. Me, I just made a little track, stuck it together, spaced out the pieces I need to space out, give it a little breakdown, build up, whatever it might be. It's just a bit of fun space music, but this is it. Volcanic Bite Bass, my first ever No Man's School, uh, my No Man's School, nine, <laughs> No Man's Sky Tour, get my words out, of one of my bases. Now, I hope you enjoyed it. As much as I enjoyed making it. Probably not. Either way, all I can say is thanks for watching. And hopefully, if you do enjoy watching it, I'll be back with more. See you soon.